At Spartans, what happens off the park has a much greater meaning and currency than what happens on it. Our home is our local community. Our home is North Edinburgh. It's an area which has gradually been rebuilt and rebooted. However, it suffers from high rates of poverty, crime and unemployment. It's an area full of social issues and challenges. Worst of all, in most parts of North Edinburgh, poverty of aspiration and ambition is commonplace. Whether it's delivering youth work services, supporting the delivery of physical activity and play in local schools, or running outreach football programmes, all of our activity is underpinned by a burning desire to make a meaningful difference for people. The Spartans family is so much more than just a charity. It's a bridge to a better place for lots of people from lots of different backgrounds living in a wonderful community. I feel like I was easily influenced by other, by other people. I was more I was more concentrating on what they're doing, copying them, eh, taking like advice from people who were behaving bad. It did get me into a lot of trouble and then I just stopped going to school at all. Just couldn't be bothered with it. Didn't see the point in it. Just made me feel like I've just wasted like my life, everything I've actually thought I wanted to do. I've got like nothing. I've not earned the grades that I want. I've not I've not performed good. The homework club was like a sigh of relief as well because it gave me like homework to do and then I couldn't worry about it like in the morning. Once I'd done that, that got shut down because the school wouldn't support it anymore. So about me and my other pals, about 10 of us, would come here every Friday eh, for six, seven hours a day. I asked to do a jet scheme, which you know, on a Friday is a work placement. So every Friday, instead of me being out there with my pals, I would be actually supervising my friends, which is a bit weird. In a way, Spartans changed my life. Eh, for the good, that is. I was at rock bottom eh, a year, a year and a bit ago, and now, I'm at the top, top of the mountain. Uh, I'm loving everything I do. I was always getting slugged. I've been to nine schools now, I'm building seven of them. I've been out of school for a year now. When I first started working with Jay, we, the academy used to go and actually take him from his house to bring him here to work, because he, he didn't feel comfortable leaving the house. He used to spend a lot of time in his own room. He didn't interact with any other kind of young people his own age. He didn't have a peer group as such that he was attached to. He wasn't really outside engaging in activity, which is something that he wanted to do. He wanted to come out and play football with other people, but he didn't have the confidence to do that. Since he's been along here at the academy, um, his confidence has grown massively. He banters with other young people and the staff here as well, which is a complete difference to what we saw when he first arrived. It has helped my confidence being able to meet new people and talk to them. Uh, and it was just an absolute random thing, could have happened to anybody apparently. It was just my head kind of exploded inside itself. I was like a baby, I knew nothing. I woke up, I was in the hospital, I'd be lying down to get me set up for my lunch, I'd just fall over. What I needed at the time was a bunch of people to hang out with and talk to. Uh, it's such an open area, such a community area. I pretty much clean uh, where people have been training, that's my main job there. Uh, so I just help with rubbish, uh, whatever needs done. I think Spartans are good for for the life of the world, the life of children, parents, uh, any local people who come along and do various things. It's just it's so positive, uh, community, people together. I was getting bullied because of my skin colour and the way I talk. When I come to Spartans, I see people from school sometimes and then we just I'll just play by myself and then they'll ask me to join them. Then I'll play with them and then we'll just be okay and then just be friends. But and then I have people like Kenya and Dougie to help me and say, keep going with your dream, don't give up. It can help kids like me or even younger than me. You know, not disencourage themselves, but to know that they'll always, they'll always be loved when they come to Spartans. It's a great place to be.